on episode 61, Maniac Max grabs the fucking saws all again. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mike and Max Off-Road Podcast, brought to you by Keep It Simple Off-Road. I'm your host, Mike Austin. And I'm Max Kraus, and we're taking you from the garage to the trail. Hold on. Like, subscribe, if you haven't yet. Boom! And um, leave a comment. Right, share with a friend. Ooh, share, yeah, share with a friend. A good friend. Yes. Not, that, not that whack friend. <laughs> um, Unless somebody's bugging the shit out of you and you need them to be out of your life for at least 40 minutes. Ooh. Send it to that person and they'll stay busy. Do you get it? You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, I, got okay. it. I got it. That was a bit of a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Where are we at, homie? This we is all about you. Back in the studio. <laughs> videoing this is a video right if you if you're listening uh go to youtube subscribe like and share with a friend <laughs> at keep it simple off road yep oh yeah yeah right i think a lot of people actually are confused by that because they'll look for the mike and max off-road podcast on youtube yeah. I've, I've heard a couple this has come up once or twice yep and i'm like oh no sir it has you happened gotta, before yeah. Yeah. yeah everything to do with just if, i always tell people you can go to Keep It Simple Off Road and find everything. Yeah, whatever you need, yeah. you could get there through that. Yeah, they're the conglomerate. Yeah, the umbrella. Ooh, umbrella can go. <laughs> you know, I I didn't want to believe it, but Mike got a stupid comment that said, "Wish I would have got an update on the mouse." <laughs> so if you want to update the people on the mouse, I won't shut you down this week. Are you sure? Are you mm. sure? <laughs> the mouse saga. People, it's a saga. That's know. the word I was looking for the other saga. day. Saga. Yeah. So <clears throat> just keep it tight. Keep it tight. All right. I caught Steve the next morning, right? Steve's the original fat one. The big one. Yeah. yeah. So I walk in. I'm eating my breakfast. Sitting there. It's all quiet. Early morning. You know You know how they are. Early yeah. morning. I'm sitting there and I hear it was like, what the hell? It sounded like, it sounded like the ice maker dropped. Is this <laughs> a weekday? Like a work day or a weekend? The very next morning. Yeah. The, a work, oh. the work, work, work day. Work day. Okay. Yeah. Some during the week, weekday. It was literally... We talked about it on the podcast, okay. and so whatever that was, the very next morning. So I go in there, and I was like, oh, and I opened it up, opened up the pantry, and there he is. That you, you just cleaned out. You put all your stuff back in, No, right? we didn't. No, I, so oh. I ended up leaving it all out, leaving everything out, and there's a few things in the pantry, and my wife and I, we started saying, let's, let's just leave them and lure them back in. Okay. And we didn't want to clean it all, whatever, but yeah. yeah. So it's been sitting there, and I figured we are going to do it that weekend anyway. So anyways- Keeping it tight. <laughs> I open up the door. He's staring at me. I grab my box. and he's, Oh, like a trap. Like yeah, a, like, I have like a big, just a moving box. Yeah. And he's on the eye level shelf. And then he's like running back and forth. And I was like, son of a bitch, man. And I, and he heads over and we know that he can run down that the door jam. Damn. Right? So I know he's going to the floor, bro. So he hits the floor and I'm, I wait. I was like backed up because now I'm not surprised by him, you know. Oh, you're looking ahead. You're predicting his moves. Exactly. Yeah. He come around that corner. I got the box mouth open on the side, like laying down on the floor. Yeah. He comes out like peeling out, drifting, <laughs> and I just swoop him in one swoop and pick him right up, dude. Then that son of a bitch, this is a medium moving box from Lowe's. He could probably climb up it. He's jumping to the top, bro. Whoa. To the very top. and I had to, Like lunging? I thumped like... him. <laughs> it's all boom. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. You high-fived him. Yeah, on his head. Yeah. So, so Pete I, I knocked him back down. And I immediately had to like leave my food, leave everything, take him right to the field where I dropped the other one. Oh yeah, because he's gonna get out of the box, dude. There's no way he wasn't gonna get out of that. And didn't you end up saying there's like a, a family after that? There's like yeah, there's more. So I'm all like woohoo, right? Because <laughs> you got the other one out. Yeah, we and got Steve. Two. We thought there was only, we've only seen two. So we leave. I tell my wife, I'm like, that's it, man. I, I got this huge relief. I go to work that day. Kristen comes home at night, and. She's sitting there eating whatever, and <laughs> a mouse runs out of the fucking pantry no right underneath the stove. So are she, you sure you got Steve? Well, we're just naming him up. At this point, we, oh. that's who we thought. He was the big one. So at this point, um, we she's like, we have another one. And I was like, oh. And all of every, I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. So I tried again to catch him. This, now they're kind of smarter, a little bit on to us. Really? You know what I mean? So I was like, damn. Another day goes by, and- I'm standing there, and we hear one in the pantry, and I hear one in the cupboard. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck, now we have two. So we potentially have a nest in there, right? Yeah. And I was like- In I the wall, right? Like somewhere you don't know. Like Yeah, so I had to go. Ugh. Some of the people aren't going to like this. I went old school. I got some snap traps. Oh, yeah. I went in, and I was like, I told what do you, her- What do you load those with? Like, is I it didn't like load a them cheese with, thing? I didn't load them with anything. I just put them where I know they run. Oh. So they had to run over them, 
right? Oh. Bro, it was like fishing. I had my <laughs> limit. I caught my limit in 20 minutes. How, like, What's your limit? 12. 12 mice? 12 in 20 fucking minutes. No, I, that's not true. I caught... Holy I caught crap. A le- I caught no. nine within literally like 20 minutes. Dude, we were fucking blown away, disgusted, yeah. and stunned. Yeah, because they're crapping somewhere. Dude, they're peeing, so, they're pooping. So they're I didn't... I just kept birthing. them in the traps. I put 16 traps out, and... And I just every time I get him, I'd pick him up with a pair of needle nose, dude, and I'd set him in the box, and I, so we could Le- see. You leave him stuck in the clamp. Yeah, they're dead, bro. Oh, they oh, died oh. in. Oh, they so were, it's aggressive. It's, yeah, it's very aggressive. It's yeah. it's just so it's just a, an old school snap trap. Yeah. So it gets it, and dude, all I did is I put him out, and I was like, I wonder if this is gonna work. I went in, took a shower, <laughs> and came out, and literally there was like six already in the traps, bro. Jesus. I was like, son of a bitch. So, and right then, Kristen or she sends me. Can a, you reload him? You can, but Kristen sent me a text that said. They can smell the bo- dead body and they'll stay away from that trap. Oh. So I was like, "Don't worry, I'm getting rid of the traps. They're only they're literally a quarter a piece." So, Damn. so um, cheap. I just started throwing the traps in the box, and I wanted to keep them just so we could see what we ended up catching. Yeah, you know what I mean to see <laughs> trophies. Yeah. Well, not yeah. trophies, but we mm-hmm. wanted to know the age. So you know, that- if you kill an animal, you're supposed to eat it. Mm. No, so so, <laughs> fuck no. It was so, dude. I guess it's not an animal; it's a rodent, right? So it's it's hard actually because I love animals. We have this real, real struggle, but we know we can't have mice in the house. Dude. Yeah. That's well, not gonna can, work. I mean. No, we can't. So it's and it's super gross. They're just and, tiny dogs, dude. <laughs> tiny <laughs> dogs. Uh, they're and sick. they don't even bark. They're gross, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I know. I had I had um anyway after I caught them. Uh, okay, so anyways, I I do this few things. I catch him. There was one horrible moment <laughs> that one is oh, it was all and it was squealing. Oh my god. So I pulled it out and it only caught a leg. This ah. is super I know we're gonna this is gonna get have hate. This is have some yeah. hate comments on this one. I'm hey, not but, hey, trying but the to the fans wanted the update. I am trying not to be humane because I absolutely am one hundred percent an animal lover, yeah. you know. So I grabbed the mouse on the trap on the pliers i take him out back and i have my big machete yeah <laughs> well you met you ended I, his life he dude to, he to was suffering. he was definitely in pain so he, what's he gonna do with a broken leg I mean, exactly and i'm not gonna let him loose with a broken leg yeah. so and i can't just throw him off into the field that way so anyways i said this is, i literally was thinking like a samurai this is an honorable death <laughs> and i went whack and i cut his head off his head this is gross. His head slid down the two by four, <laughs> rotated around, and then just stared at me, dude. It was, and it was, it, you couldn't have put this head more perfect. Pointing, I have pictures if you want to see them, because <laughs> Kristen wanted pictures of everything to make sure that you know what they were. Oh, and then we were looking at the sex to see if they're male, female, mm. and the generation. So we ended up catching. Oh, you're looking for the rings? Do you cut them in half and look for the rings to see how old like they are? Like on a tree? Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> you just hold them up and look for a pair of balls. <laughs> so. How can you tell the generation? Just young and old mice? Yeah, you can see the size difference in them. Their balls? No. Oh, the m- size of the mouse, the yeah. body. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we ended up with we ended up with like four older mouse or oh. four full-size mouse, and the rest were babies. Oh. And 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 we ended up having almost a perfect even split of male and females, oh, and we were doing sketchy. that to see if yeah. we might have more babies that are in there somewhere. So so all that. So anyways, so that went down. So we we ended up doing it, and you just hold them up and look. Then then you we threw them out right, and I was like, that's all of them in the field. No, I threw the I wrapped them up in the trash. They were all dead. Oh, yeah. So I threw them out, and then I was like, you know what? That's all of them. That's I think that's all of them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I was like. I'm going to put a trap out just in case. Full. So now I'm doing the dishes. I'm doing the dishes, and I hear the trap go off. And I open it up, and there's nothing in the trap. And I, was, and I had just set the trap in there and then shut that cabinet. So I was like, huh, hmm. maybe, it, maybe it fell. You yeah. know what I mean? I had it on this. He has this little ledge that they were running on, so I had it up there. Oof. Anyway, long, um, so I was like, ah, whatever. I go to bed, wake up the next morning, and sure enough, there's a mouse in there. Damn. But when I got that one, I immediately knew. I was like, all right, they're done. I knew they were done. And now we've been... Mouse free for like five days. But how do you know it's done? I'm trapped. I got traps everywhere, bro. Oh, so they're not going off. No, yeah, nothing's going off. And and there was one drawer they were in. We had cleaned that drawer out, and mm-hmm. we found this uh, that poison stuff or whatever that yeah. that dehydration stuff. Yep. They loved that crap. So we cleaned it all up, put it all back in there, and I lined the drawer with traps. And nobody's there's been no activity anywhere. Oh, good. So <clears throat> we still haven't found the nest yet because. Yeah. You have to, all that shit is toxic, I guess. You're like, it's got, 
I don't yeah. know, disease and crap on it. Yeah. So you can't breathe it. You have to wait five days on everywhere they've been for that to go away. The disease carrying part wow. will die. And then you have to spray everything down with bleach and then you can't create dust with it. So you have to huh. then wrap it all up because the throw dust it. will float. Yeah, the it's like and then in, you breathe it in in the dry urine and stuff. We learned all kinds of crap about mm-hmm. it, dude. So, anyways, so um, you're gonna start 2021 with like rat disease, disease, yeah, Corona disease, Corona 20, <laughs> so no, <laughs> COVID 20, not Corona. Yeah, anyway, <clears throat> so it was disgusting. And if my suggestion to anybody for a tip, if you spot a mouse, immediately get on it. Yeah, old school snap traps work fantastic. So they, don't wait a week or two of like petting them and no like, don't oh, you so know nice. be like we'll catch them and try to use the humane traps yeah. and stuff we used all those little closed trap door boxes and all, that shit do didn't do anything he, nothing he did he never went to anything with food wow and when I put those traps out zero zero food you just you Damn. can see where they go dude and you know how they run you just throw them where they run like yeah I had a spot <clears throat> they would come down. Down the stove, and then and they don't just go around it, huh? huh. They go right through it, and we well, yeah, well, they would turn left between the fridge and the cabinet. So oh. I just put one in there. You had yeah. to go over it, yeah. So it was just bam, bam. But you got to clean the. So I sat there that whole day, and just waited for them so oh that I could God. hear them in case they died slow. I wanted to be able to kill yeah. them fast, and I only had to do that on one. But that's the mouse saga. It's over. <laughs> it's totally over. We're mouse free in the house. We think they came in through the dog door. So that's oh, it. that's good. Yeah. But better than digging a hole through the stucco outside. Yeah, because or... I, I and and I put traps all around the house. Oh, good to keep it from anything else coming in. So nice. that's it. All right. Well, we're hopefully fully, no more field mouse. We are fully updated on. There you go, buddy. The mouse saga. Just for yous, youths. I wanted everyone to know the saga too. Yeah. You have to have an ending yeah. to the story. You need some, you need a shirt. You like, can't literally <laughs> with like a dead like. Just the mouse, like I tried. <laughs> yeah. I tried to crosses. live. Twenty twenty got me. I'm not me. trying to rub it in their faces. You I'm know, people it's that the official Mike and Max's off road podcast. What are they called? Uh, animalists or what are they called? What you know? You have like a vegan doesn't need mm-hmm. animals. What's a person that is all about animals? You know, I'm t- you know a meat eater. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. I, uh, I, I know what you're saying. On. Like a there's a, a name like an animal rights like something more extreme. Yeah, like, like PETA or whatever yeah. you know. But a, not P- PETA. a PETA person. Yeah, PETA pit. No, PETA pocket. No, those are all food items. People so. eating tasty mm. animals. <laughs> <laughs> so it is. PETA. Dude, I did try to cook some hamburger for taco salad after all that fiasco, and I couldn't eat it. It's disgusting. Hmm. I don't know why. You didn't even call me. Uh, I, I wasn't disgusted, dude. I it was. Disgusting. I would have took a free meal. <laughs> Ooh, a bunch of taco salad, hamburgers. All right. Yeah, that's it. Mm. Get on those mouse people. Very interesting. Don't forget to like and subscribe yeah. if you want to keep on the uh, <laughs> mouse saga, which hopefully is over. Back to just four wheel drive stuff. All right, I got updates. Jeep stuff. Oh, Jeep updates or just Jeep updates? House. No Jeep. Okay, good. Jeep. So I found a knuckle for the Dana 44. Yeah, because you're, you're, it was wallowed out, right? Yep. The, the knuckle, not the C. Yeah, to catch everybody up, the knuckle itself, where the, it had been, it had so many ball joints pressed into yeah. it that it's now wobbled. Yeah. So that ball, upper like ball joint. Like how wobbly? Like, oh, it's big. It's, really? It, it, you can grab the wheel and go, dunk, dunk, dunk. Yeah. Like, I thought it was a broken ball joint. Yeah. And Daryl said, dude, that's in your knuckle. And Damn. I was like, and, and not only that, it's come out of the C. To where Jesus. that side is flush, and the other side sticks down about half an inch on yeah, that ball joint. So it's pressing it out. Yeah, it's pushing it out. Yeah. You know, on the JKs, the ball joints are in the C. Yeah. So be glad you're in the knuckle, because otherwise you'd have to cut the That's C That's why off. you need Chevy, not yeah. Jeep. So someone Chevy. should buy your Chevy axle. That's right. Cut the tubes off, reverse it, right. and weld it back together. <laughs> so, yeah, or buy a Ford one. <laughs> but, <laughs> The uh, so the beauty the reason I decided to go ahead and spend some money I found it really cheap on eBay I don't know what kind of quality it is but it had yeah, really but, good reviews oh, and okay. it already came drilled milled and yeah for your high for high steer yeah and it was only one hundred thirty five bucks so but you still need ball joints too right the well maybe because no because those ball joints I have in there are good Oof. I know maybe one but yeah. but I don't see why just I couldn't get some just, auto, get get some AutoZone ball joints if you're only gonna wheel it for a couple more months yeah. I do have those. Yeah, I would get new ones. I actually think I have a set of spares in the 
in my spare box. Oh, perfect. You know what I mean? I'll yeah. throw those two in. I'm almost positive I do. And you're building a 60. Like, why do you want old spare ball joints for a 40? Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't need them. Yeah. And because because if I do end up keeping it to put it in a blazer or something, yeah. then I have to fix a knuckle anyway. Yeah. And I don't want to miss this wheeling season, dude. And I know you mentioned that, can we say, the RC Ram Charger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can tell. Is that, uh, do you know, is that passenger drop? Ooh, I don't know. Because my axle is the Dodge Ram 2500 axle out of a 99, and it's driver drop. Yeah. So what Max is re- um, alluding to here yeah. is I just watched the four-wheeler mag, you know, Ian's Big Tire Garage. Yeah. Yeah, big – oh, good segue. Big Tire Garage, and um, he was doing an overlanding in a Ram Charger. So Ian, Ian Johnson? Ian Johnson, yeah. So – I want to do a Blazer because that's my favorite. Yeah. I like the Broncos, but I don't like oh, Ford. Crazy expensive, though. Yeah, exactly. All that shit you is off, get, off the charts now. Yeah. yeah. And even he said, and Ram Chargers, Jared had one. And it's not bad. It, they're huge. Mm-hmm. They're just kind of ugly. You know what I mean? They're Looks like a Blazer. You know I mean. what, though? You know, you could throw big tires under anything and make yeah. it look cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, so, are you going like 41 and a half? Well, at least 37s. Or, oh. 37s look fine. Though. Yeah. But so, anyways, yeah. Um, that'd you, be good you can to get thirty sevens and race tires. Check this out though. For those that watch Motor Trend, I just watched the Dirt Every Day one. Yeah, the, new, the newest episode. So they're going over landing in those two red. Yeah, you know the the are Toyota they Scouts one? or what are they? Well, one is a Toyota and the other one is a, a Willys Jeep. Oh, okay. So um, a wagon, Will, Willys wagon. It's the weirdest episode <laughs> I ever seen. It's so it feels awkward watching it. It's awesome, beautiful place. It's cool. Mm-hmm. The rigs are cool, but you're literally just wondering what the hell at the end, you know. And huh. do you and, think it's editing, or do you think that the two people didn't get along? No, no, no. It's part of ed- it's editing. It's oh. it's not that they didn't get along. It just has it's missing a story. It's weird. missing part of the story. The context is like something. It's is really missing. weird, dude. Yeah. So if you, I suggest everybody go watch it. But I've I I felt weird watching it. What are you like, a motor the, trend? I love what hype person. No. Every, every. This episode brought to you by <laughs> Motor Trend. Now get it yeah. to subscribe for four ninety nine. Anyway, the um, no, but check this out. This is my theory. I watched Ian build an Overlander in that Ram Charger. Okay, the other one doesn't have an ending. Oh, I bet, I bet they end up meeting somewhere and they're going on an Overland trip, and, and we'll see whole, an there's episode. There's a whole another episode. Yeah, that's what I bet. Yeah, I'm calling it right you, now. Usually on the big tire garage stuff. Those builds are stretched out over like many episodes. Yeah, this one was fast. He basically built. Oh, a, it's already done. Yeah, he just built a roof rack and shit and loaded his coolers in there. Oh, like a real basic, like like the, almost a stock vehicle, souped up, oh, ready he, to go. Yeah. So apparently he's already done all this work. It has a, a Hemi in it. Whoa. It's, it got one tons on it. All kinds of stuff already. He's already had that done. I haven't seen any of this. This uh, I don't think there was an episode. This oh. episode he just built a wooden box to mm. to so he could sleep in there and hold some shit. And put some solar panels on top. Nice. So, but, but so that it wasn't cool. a real episode. You that know what I mean? Cool. Exactly. So I bet that they're meeting yeah. somewhere and there'll be an episode where because they, they were all just on the UA together. Yeah. So they, it's not like they don't know each other, right? Well, and with, I bet you all of them aren't doing as much. Um, they're not producing as many episodes. They're not doing as much. Right. They're probably looking for things to collaborate on. This is so this here's makes sense. So here's another thing I noticed with the new big tire garage. This is funny to me, and I was picking up on. I couldn't pinpoint it, but I got it figured out now. When you watch Ian on when he was on XOR or the Extreme Off Road yeah. Shop and all the other ones, he's he's really good at talking. He's look at the camera, he discusses, and he goes on and does this thing. In the big tire garage, I think that this is his baby, right? I think it's mainly mm-hmm. his deal. Yeah. You see the real him. That guy just fucking talks. Like, he thinks and <laughs> talks all the time, and he makes these weird little chatty comments. You know, he's like, oh, oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, all I, that I th- was- I think I know exactly what you mean. There's, like, there's weird, like, like, that wasn't funny. Like, he, you know? <laughs> well, you, he's just him thinking out yeah. loud, right? Yeah. But, and all that crap was cut out on the other shows. Oh, because there's this, probably a producer and an yeah, editor. But this is him. I don't know. I'm sure he has that on this show, too. But Interesting. It's, you see more of the real his personality, and that's what makes it different. It actually brings yeah. it to a normal, yeah. like, a garage feel to I like, it. I like that show, Big Tire I do too. Garage. I do, too. It's, um, but it's funny. I just start to pay attention now. And, yeah, he makes all these weird little comments, like, like he, he, you could tell he's like a little kid sometimes. Yeah. He's playing with the radio and he, he'll make the noises of the yeah. radio and like none of that crap was on the other shows, you know. Mm-hmm. So I thought it was funny. Interesting. All right, that's enough of me. Let's get on to this uh, 
Let's get on to you and your updates, sir. Oh. I saw some crazy shit just a minute ago. You want to fill us in? <laughs> I will. That wasn't very good, yeah. but I will. Come on, man. Get with it. Let's go. <laughs> I don't want to have to ask the questions like I don't. I'm here. Like I don't know you hack. Mm. <clears throat> like I don't know you cut it up. Come on. I just. Well, let me set this down. Spoiler alert. I really have. I always thought that the back of the Liberty was way too like broad and wide. And I have the way I built my roll cage. It has these really cool angled bars that tie into a bunch of stuff. Well, into one thing, but they tie in to the Jeep. And um, I'd always wanted to move the rear the rear corners in like dovetail it basically. Right. And so the other day I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it no matter what. I'm just going to like make it work. And, um, so literally in like two afternoons, I was able to cut both of the rear corners totally off. And I was, (coughs) so I basically started in the middle of the Jeep between the driver door and the, and the rear door, cut it right there. And cut everything off along the way so I could remove an entire corner. And I know you and I had talked about it previously to cut like little pie shapes and everything. Yeah. I cut giant pie shapes. Just went for <laughs> Which <it>. was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that allowed me to move the door and the rear corner as like one instead of like one harsh bend on the rear corner. Right. In between the rear door and the rear corner. I didn't, I didn't want one fat bend. Because the rear doors always, they've been hit multiple times already on obstacles too. So I wanted to shrink the whole half of the Jeep inward. From the front door's back. The back of the front door. That's that's where it starts to turn. The middle, basically the dead middle of the Jeep, it dovetails backwards now. Yeah. And the two rear doors are inward about two inches. And then at the very end of the dovetail, I took out 13 inches. Phew. Which it sounds like a lot. That's huge, though. It, it is a lot. It's huge. So, <laughs> and we at actually, it. while we talk about this, we're actually going to upload a bunch of photos, like we did for the last episode on our Instagram, mm-hmm. and I'll make it one of the um, bubbles. I forget what those are called. Highlights. Highlight. Oh yeah, highlight bubble. And we'll I'll call this episode sixty one highlights. Yep. Just like the last one is episode sixty. Yeah. Cool. So, on this now I got a bunch of questions. Oh please. So. Before and, we and I have a bunch more photos we can go over too. Okay, so looking at this one, so when you first did this, mm-hmm. did you leave the back doors on and just swing them open and then cut the? So you cut the door jam from the whole door. This is what he cut. <laughs> I'm yeah. trying to tell everybody because I've yeah. seen it right. So you, it looks like you opened the back doors. You went straight down. You cut at the kick. You cut all the door jam off under the bottom and the whole entire back corner panel off. Uh-huh. So essentially, you cut the entire Jeep clean in half, except for the floor. Yeah, it's the only um, the picture I'm looking at is the only thing yeah. on there is the floor yeah. and the roll cage is holding it all together. Exactly, the frame no. and the roll cage tie the whole Jeep together. Right, and I was going to say, if you don't have a frame built, yeah, don't, don't do-, do that. <laughs> right, <laughs> so, don't because that's a unibody. Yeah, and that is going to be a floppy piece of crap when if you don't have a frame in there. Exactly. So yeah, I'm, anybody that's kind of young, yeah. <laughs> that's who I was pinpointing that to. So now we're on to the second photo here. Okay. Oops, hang on, let me pause it. See, so that from the exterior of the rear cage to the corner used to be 10 inches. Right. And now it's what? Four, five? Four, four and, and a half, half to five, yeah. you know, depending on where the body line, exactly where you're looking. Yeah. So, I mean, it took out a huge amount. Um, it's dramatic, for yeah. sure. I, I'm actually really happy with it. Yeah. Like, it's definitely not perfect. It's like no one with a JL would like this. But <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> it's definitely but rough. It's in- it's a little rough. Like the doors collide a little bit because they both angle inward towards each other. Yeah, now. But you just did this. It I needs ju- to be fine tuned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna grind the doors down a little. And- <laughs> <laughs> no, you're gonna try to slide them out with the hinges. Yeah, I'm gonna do that first. Yeah, I'm try- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, it's rough. I mean, it has rough edges still. The welds are still exposed. You know. Oh yeah, things yeah. like that. It's exactly. still wide open. It's exactly. rough. So here, yeah, this is one of the pie. Sh- this is, I think, this oh, okay. is the first pie shape I cut. That's from the In- bottom up. No, no, it's looking down at it. 
Oh, okay. It, it is hard to tell, right? So that's the carpet on the left. Gotcha. And the huge pie shape is looking straight down at it. Yeah. But holy crap, is it? There are so many layers to the unibody and the side of the Jeep. Yeah. Like cutting through it with a Sawzall was a huge pain in the ass. Like I really had to force the Sawzall. So you, that's not, <laughs> do you still have the outside? Like, like that was the first attempt and it wouldn't bend? Or have you yes. cut all the way through yet or no? Um, I believe I already cut all the way through and it was probably just sitting there. Gotcha. But it, it wouldn't um, it wouldn't bend until I removed the entire <coughs> rear section of the you know from the door yeah. to the rear fender and the rear fender was one piece. I had to remove that and then cut like strips out of it, like slice it, oh. in order for the body to slowly go more and more inward. Gotcha. Yeah. That's, so you did take it clean off and then cut oh yeah, it. you didn't just bend. That's it out where that it. first picture came from, where it looked like just back half. Yeah. You know. That was so you could cut the pies in the yeah. floor. Exactly. Okay, cool. And I, I think I actually did it different on both sides. On one side, I think I cut the side of the Jeep that was still there. Yeah. And on the other side, I cut the pies out of the um, my existing what corner that I had laid. What was there. under all that? Like, did you hit anything underneath it? Nope. None it's all brackets? sticking out. Like, I mean, the, yeah, the, the the rock sliders are in the way a little bit. Okay. Like, I rubbed the blade on the rock slider a little, but nothing. So I most cutting. of the cuts were on the outside of the frame. Yes. Oh, yeah. All of them are on the like. Like four inches outside of the frame. Oh, nice. Yeah. So the entire flat. frame and structure is totally still supported. <coughs> cool. Yeah. And then, you know, I had, so then now you have this extremely floppy freaking side corner there. Did you? Yeah, you had to leave all that too, huh? Yeah, so I had, yeah, all that, yeah, that we're looking at the rear That's corner the right innards. now. That's the innards. Yeah. Look at how much wasted space is right A there. A huge amount. There, there's there's a ton. I'm wondering why why didn't you just skin skin it? Like take all the innards out and just have the skin. Because I wanted easy. the shape to remain. Yeah. Okay. And, and I thought the more it was already so floppy, like the whole, you know, what I mean, you're talking about a whole rear quarter panel and the floor section of underneath the door. Yeah. It was one floppy mess. So like, I the I wanted to I did cut a lot of it out. Um, you you you'll be able yeah. to see it if you look at the Jeep again. Basically, in order to to weld, and you know, I welded the rear corners to the cage, Dude, in order looks... to hold in order to hold them back on. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a front tire, bro. You cut yeah. it in so far. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's his rear tire. How much? He, uh, straight down top. The whole entire tire is it's outside the, outside yeah. the jeep. Yeah. That's crazy. Which is pretty awesome. Yeah. I I definitely didn't think it would look this aggressively dovetailed. Yeah. But from the back, it's basically the width of a forty-inch tire, is what it looks like. It's super dramatic. It's yeah. almost as small as yeah. the wheelies. What? Um, but, actually, I think it's. I think your rear. I think it's narrower than the yeah. wheelies. But the body itself, like the whole the whole front door, most of the rear door is still extremely wide. I have a tad of my tires under the body still. Yeah. You know. Yeah, what, and I um, have none. None. Not at least not over the rear corner. I wonder if. Uh, that's gonna just hurl shit to the front window, like mine, does, oh, like mine does, you know. Probably, but you have a fatter side, so yeah. the side might catch it. Yeah, <clears throat> mine definitely. So this photo is from the passenger side, and I this is where I was trying to show you that what it would look like if I just tried to bend the corner in. Oh, and that's with the door and the original spot. I only cut everything out of the corner out in order to move it freely, and that's I don't know if you can tell, but by the door. It's totally like bowed and about to buckle, oh, and I'm not even at the roll cage. Yeah, I see now. The yeah. no, Jeep's actually going that way, and then this is yeah. curved in. And it, it was a really aggressive-looking dovetail, like you see pretty often. You know when someone just does the rear corners or just does the nose? Yeah. You know how sometimes it looks like they have that cut and then it, like a buckle yep. to get it because it doesn't go that way. And um, so I actually took that photo just to show you. Because I know at one point you were saying, no, you should just do the corners instead of, like, half the Jeep. Yeah. But um, I think I did the right thing by yeah. doving, like, the whole back half of the – literally cut the Jeep in half and squeeze it together. Yeah, but that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Pretty awesome. And I was so shocked at how fast it was going. Like, okay, I was pretty aggressive with the saw. You right. Know? But, I mean, I was like – I blew through some blades, dude. <laughs> but dude, the blades are bouncing off stuff, hitting stuff. There's so many layers internally to cut through on these unibodies. Or yeah. like, 
Dude, my whole and, body's tense. And the long blade. The <laughs> long blade. Dude, I, I was br- snapping them off at the connection to the saw. Dude, bending them, snapping them. They were hitting everything. I'm sitting here, and I can feel oh, I my know. shoulders up as you're talking. <laughs> I'm looking at it, and all of a sudden I realized, I was like, man, I'm really tense right now. Like, That's crazy. Huh. Oh, so you- here's the tailgate. So I, that's what I marked out to cut. You know, So I cut the whole center of the tailgate out 13 inches. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how else you would have been able to do that. Yeah. And, you know, I, I had thought originally I should cut out like a side or something, but the middle of the tailgate has that huge hump. Ooh, I know. Oh, yeah. So that I didn't want the hump to be somewhere off-centered or something. Yeah, that's right. So I just cut the whole middle of it out. I was wondering if maybe you could have notched it like this oh. and then slid that whole piece over so that... Yeah, would've... but that's for someone like high tech and, yeah. and patience. <laughs> I, I cut straight lines fast <laughs> yeah it actually wasn't you know it, it was pretty fast did that go back together easy yeah i mean like it took some fitting and kicking and you know all kinds of stuff but yeah. um yeah originally i had the two halves of the tailgate laying flat on the floor and that's when i realized the cur- how curved the tailgate uh, actually was it's a good thing you didn't weld it like that yeah yeah Jeez, that's crazy. Yeah, here's a good photo of just the rear end of the Jeep. So we'll be posting these on the Instagram, and then Michael actually put them into the video too. It looks like a fuck. But it shows you how, like, how, so literally my body can be no, it's narrower than the the wheel, um, the 69-inch um, wheel mount surface. Yeah. Like the the, the, the bumper, tail end. The bumper is narrower than your shocks. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's insane, dude. <laughs> But from the side, it basically looks like the same Jeep. Yeah. Like, su- like okay, subtly it looks like the same Jeep, you know? And that was my biggest goal. I didn't want this, like, big old hacked up thing driving around. Like, I want the doors. I want the sides. Like, if you look at it from, like, 40 feet away, yeah. it looks like a normal Jeep, you know? And squint. And squint. <laughs> it may For- be in the dark. Right, 42. Or looking into the sun. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, but it's, from the back. I can't believe how much it actually changed the look. Yeah. I'm shocked. Yeah. It changed it a lot. Yeah, big time. But I got I still got my normal taillights. I actually tried to put the stock gas tank back in it too. Yeah. No way. It no. just it's so big. Like yeah. it would have ruined my storage area, you know, like cuz I that got one picture your tank was way out in the back. Is that where it is normally? No. It's under the tire. Oh, okay. It, it That's sits what I like it sits further inward underneath the tire. That's what I thought. It yeah. just happened to be right next to the tailgate. Yeah, because yeah. I was I was sliding it all out, and yeah. I was just taking photos of uh, as I was going along. It's hard on to document it when you're in the yeah. mood to just go. Yeah, but I knew tough. I wanted to take some photos so we could at least upload them. Yeah, and that way you know I could show all my all my cool friends. <laughs> and um, <laughs> well, it's definitely I'm definitely pretty happy with it. And I think it'll be way better for rock crawling this winter. It should like, absolutely. Like I was always really worried about just destroying a whole corner of the Jeep, you know. Yeah. And um, huh. I think that now I got um, a lot more room to to not for that not to happen. Yeah. Or to be that much more cautious, because I know what kind of like if I had to go to a junkyard and find a khaki metallic gold Jeep, which is very difficult, yeah. and cut freaking half of it out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I. It'd be brutal. And then what do you what do you walk up to the register with this like hacked out thing you cut? Right, like, just the back half. Yeah. yeah, I'll just have this. Yeah, I'll just and not, and not even the back half. Remember, the roof was already cut off long ago. Right. So I'd have to cut the roof off of another stock Liberty. Speaking of roof, you put the roof back on. Yeah, the front of it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we ever mentioned that. You cut the whole <laughs> roof off and then you put the front back on. Yeah. the front half. Yeah, like freedom panels. Yeah, that's why. Because <laughs> I didn't want to sit in the sun anymore. Right. That's why metal is awesome. Yeah. Seriously, you just put it back. Cut it, clean it up, weld it back in. Yeah, you make a mistake. You don't put even it back. Need, you don't even need bolts. <laughs> no, you just dude. weld it back in. <laughs> it's easier sometimes to just tack that yeah. shit wherever you need it. Yeah. And we know I'm a good welder, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see. <laughs> so. <clears throat> Obviously, there's going to be a little bit of cleanup work, dude. Welding sheet metal is. Yeah. I've never run my welder this low. You make wh- whistling diesel look. Petty, bro. Thank like, you. No, I'm just That's kidding. Huge. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That's obviously sarcasm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, every time I was welding the sheet metal, you know, I only cleaned up like a quarter inch strip to weld to put the tailgate back together. Yeah. Every tack, it's on fire. It's on fire. It's on, <laughs> I, I just did tack, glove, 
tack glove. The tack worst, glove. the worst is when you tack and it burns through one side, yeah. and you try to fill it in, and it makes it worse yeah. and worse and worse. Yep. And you have to, you have to leave it because you're trying to it's fix too, it yeah. immediately until it cools completely, yeah. and then you can fix it again. Yeah. I, I don't had know a why. Of, I had a couple gaps too that I didn't want to fill because it would mess up the shape. So I had I had a bunch of scrap yeah, I saw those. body laying. <laughs> You know, like what I, the strips I cut out of the body yeah. and I just cleaned them up because it's the same thickness. So they welded oh, together yeah. really well. I was wondering where you got those. Yeah. There, it's all the remnants of what I cut That's out of right. there. <laughs> you stitched it back together yeah. with, the, its, with own its own remnants. Yeah. That's it's funny. like if you get a cut and you had some skin laying around and you just put your own skin on your cut to heal it. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, yeah, I guess they do that. But, um, mm. So everything fits. The spare tire fits. The gas tank doors fits. Worked. The doors, doors yeah, the doors work. The tailgate works. Sort mm. of. It needs some help. The first time you it smash worked. that right side, it'll oh, fix it. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I've yet to hit it. I've never hit it yet. But I was, I was like really paranoid of hitting it. I'm, I'm and, really. Um, uh, oh yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's, oh, go ahead. You're paranoid to hit it. Yeah. That knows that the oh. end. <laughs> oh well, you said end, uh, so I felt like I interrupted yeah, just, you. People say that, and uh, you know, okay, you know. So I'm really torn between if I would have just done rub rails. I know I keep saying mm-hmm. that, but I also am from the '80s, and yeah. I like the rub rails. Yeah. Um, but the rub rails don't help my tail lights. No, no, you're right. And, uh, yeah, I have broken a tail light before. On this, mm-hmm. on oh, the Liberty. Okay. Huh. I'll be damned. I think, without a doubt, I mean, for what we do and where we're at, it's yeah. absolutely going to help. Yeah. Keep that stuff better. Because we, we always look for, you know, we always say we don't want to do the craziest trails because we don't want to ruin our Jeeps, but we end up in pretty difficult trails, you know? And if we're, yeah, and you do try to put it in positions, and it always yeah. seems to be off camber mm-hmm. and always up against a rock. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Always. That's what the main reason I never did any body work on my Jeep. Yeah. I just, I, I stretched it, but I didn't do any body yeah. work. Or, I, and my welds, I did the same thing you did. I just painted my weld. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, but I did it because I didn't want to worry about yeah. smashing it. So, yeah. but M- remember when you got body damage on SB and you didn't even know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on multiple corners. <laughs> Three pieces. You Three didn't places. even know that you hit anything. And big body damage, too, bro. <laughs> I was like, how the hell did that get there? The first time it happened, Sh- actually. shows you how busy your mind is working through that trail. The first time I was with Vern and Trent, and I, w- I went through Anaconda. I'd never oh, been through right. there before. And I slipped off the rock, yep. smashed Gouged that side. side. Yeah, and then and they're they're like, we could pull it sideways. We could do it left. I was like, no way, man. We'd just <laughs> drug it right through. <laughs> yeah. And they were like, well, at least you didn't bitch out on that. You yeah. know, they were, but that, yeah. that was cool. But I, th- the reason I did that, yeah. And I kind of like the new scars on it, you know. Yeah. But- I know both sides of it because when I'm out with all those guys, you guys with the fancy jeeps, yeah. I wish it was cleaned up yeah. and better, and exactly. not look like a fucking tin can. But and that's oh why my. I wanted to keep the body lines on mine. Clearly, I needed to look as good as Steve's. All right, so now my now my comments. Oh please, Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> I think so. Okay, you already forewarned me that they're rough. But. So I'm not sold on it at all. Oh, but at the back, the back, I'm not. Um, I'm, it has I, that I dove look, look. Yeah. like narrowed, weird, funky. That doesn't look yeah. the way it used to. I think it definitely lost the look of the Liberty. Unfortunately, oh. I think it only did. from the back. Correct, not the front. Yeah, not or the sides. The sides, the sides are three quarters or whatever. Yeah. But, oh, so we're one. You're twenty five percent less into yeah. it. Okay. So you go to the back, and I'm just being straight up. No, please, okay. please. So the back, when I first saw that picture, I was like, God, I hope this looks better in person. That's what I, my first thought was, and it, it does. It's not as oh, bad. It looks nice. better in person. Um, it's way, I think it's like when you have long hair and you cut it off short, oh, yeah. it's just shocking in the beginning because yes. this is super dramatic. Yeah. Where when you took the back off, it, it changed it like dramatic, but it was definitely Better. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Where this will be it, awesome. It looked more like a Wrangler look. Yeah. Like a top off, like, yeah. well, the, This looks like, you know, a back half. I almost want to say Jack uh, XJ. You know what okay. I mean? When oh. it, they eventually get so smashed up, they just cut them off and you have just yeah. the tubes in the back. But- it's not bad. I would definitely fill in those patches that we that you know the the. I would definitely connect the rest of that metal. I wouldn't leave just the stitches. Oh even yeah, even though yeah. it's not oh, barely. It, and on. it's definitely not done. Yeah, no, no, no. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, it's definitely rough. But you were talked about not filling in some of those gaps, and I was well, like, well, not fully. Yeah. Like I'm gonna just patch like a couple more strips oh, yeah. across it. More than what and, you have. Then. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. I because what I th- saw. But not. I'm not gonna patch it a hundred percent all the way. Like I can't do the bottom anyways. Oh no, God, no, no, yeah. no. Yeah, just the easy. Spots. But I need to be able to step on it or put something heavy on exactly. it. Exactly. And, and not and not fail. And, and I was thinking if. You- <laughs> 
what I envisioned out there was you rolling it like a full two thirds or a full uh-huh. roll and just fucking fenders, dude, <laughs> flying <laughs> like this. Dude, they're welded in in a lot of areas, man. <laughs> I just be... see. I uh, look like a coat, bro. Like yeah, if I if I you know up. that could happen if I roll off like Black Bear Pass or off the any no, jeep would do that. The la- the waterfall on on CD. If you roll down that, that's a full yeah. three quarters of a roll. <laughs> it would be. It can't be any worse than me going over backwards and my engine falling out. Oh my out. god! Yeah. So <laughs> there's a few things that we have to fix. But yeah, that would be that would be terrible. Imagine fixing that. Like oh, my engine fell out. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Dude, it's it'd be it, someone would have to helicopter it out. I still don't know why I did what I did there, and it's lasted this long. And oh, I can't the bolts, believe, how how your uh, engine mounts are bolted in. It's literally the whole engine is in there on three little tiny ass <laughs> bolts. Dude. Like qu- quarter twenty, grade eight. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it is, bro. Yeah, three on each side. I mean, oh, that's six. Oh, that's three quarter twenty. <laughs> and it goes, they bolt into you know three sixteenths inch steel. Yeah. So there's like Oof. three threads holding it. Yeah, I'm an idiot when I saw that. But but it I, has never failed yet. I've also yeah. And it has came down kind of hard a few times, yeah. but I it is when I told that to Rob and he goes, "Oh, I've seen it happen, bro." I was Damn. like, I go, "I'm pretty worried these are going to break." And I was looking for like, <laughs> "Now nah, you're fine." And he's like, "Oh, I've seen that happen." Yeah. I was like, "Fuck." And didn't you point out some other things where like you you're All kinds afraid of that the shit. roll cage could shear in a certain spot or something like Yeah, isn't so there funky on like the that? B pillar, so I have between my B and C pillar, I have a cross brace yeah and between the b and a pillar there's a cross brace underneath underneath the mm-hmm. the door and then i have a little triangle that goes up you know from the those two braces anyways i didn't match the nodes they would call oh, it a node. Yeah, yeah i have them one above the other yeah and literally it would act like a set of scissors yeah. he said i'd be fine like in a rollover or he said, but it, it's a one-time use if you yeah. roll it on the highway. Well, I think a lot of our home-built cages are probably <laughs> fairly one. Like, hopefully you live if it's yeah. a bad accident, you know? Yeah. And uh, I de- well, if, obviously, hopefully we all live plenty if, long, you know? But um, If I ever blow it apart, like take the roll cage back out, which I do want to do, oh. it's an easy fix to nice. fix that without rebuilding the whole thing. Yeah. And I want to add a cross brace. Everybody says the cross brace is the most important. Cross what? Across the back, you know, like, like an um, X, the X. Oh, Be- I don't have that either because um, that's the most important in a roll. Yeah, because uh, the cage won't lean. Exactly. Yeah. So the X will hold it. The reason I never added that is because I wasn't sure where the gas tank was going, yeah. and, and I thought those that shit had to be in a straight line, and I Mm-mm. I wanted to be able to get to the back. I can't get to the back anyway, so. Now I can do it, and I can see I see guys doing all kinds of bends to yeah. get to it. So I'm going to add it. Eventually. Richard's Jeep too. Yeah, Rick exactly. Ross. I mean, his his are bent out pretty aggressively. So his seat, I think it was a, intentionally designed so his seat can go back and forth yep. quite a bit. Yep. But I mean, it goes like ten inches behind a seat. I think yeah. back and then an X. Yeah. So the, it's a cool design. I mean, it works. I'm definitely going to add that, or at least even one. Yeah. I've seen them with just one bar. Yeah. You know, but I I kind of like things. Is that a Y? I don't know what <laughs> that would be, but a minus. <clears throat> then I won't be so worried. Yeah, because I know I like that the way it's built. I'm comfortable in a backwards roll with it. That yeah. won't. That doesn't bother Jesus, me at all. Like that. It scares me, it, but that's gonna wreck your day. <laughs> yeah, but the cage will hold it. Yeah, I know the yeah, cage right. will hold that. Yeah, that's because and, and the rest can be dealt with as long as you're okay. Exactly. A to B because the A to B or A to C pillar is one bar. Yeah, and it's there's only two bends in it. You know what I mean? Like that nice. should hold and a so. bunch of stuff in between. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. So well, cool. I'm gonna it. keep uh, working on my little project I got going on here because yeah. I want to be able to drive it for Saturday if we end up going to the off-road expo in Phoenix. Nice. Yeah, I'm I was drive it there. I was gonna go camping. That was my. I was like, I'm going camping. I'm going to the. Wilderness. Oh, that's right. I thought, yeah. I did, and then I thought, well, if that knuckle shows up, I could throw it in and take the jeep and not have to take the truck. Yeah. Then I thought, well, what am I in a big hurry to leave on Friday for? I could go to the expo, eat breakfast. With oh, you guys, and head out and then from out the s- North Valley. Yeah. And yeah. Head up Sunday, Saturday night. Yeah. So I could take if the knuckle shows up Friday, I'll have it on, fix, roll my jeep down, and perfect. Right. And if it doesn't, I'll roll the Harley out, and yeah. then I'll go out to Tortilla Flats for lunch, and then nice right back. Hell so. yeah, man. Well, we got to keep we got to keep working on our Jeeps. Yeah. So, so on that uh, note, let's finish this guy up. Check. We're out of here. Peace. Finish this guy, right? Yeah. This? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Peace. We're out of here. <laughs> <laughs>